Hi, I'm Rachel, Tech Evangelist here at LISC. This is the first of our new development update vlogs. These are going to be coming out bi-monthly from now. After release of 1.0, it's been a super busy month. On Core, we've had two patch releases and continued work on minor releases. We've released a new version of Hub and launched a brand new product in LISC Mobile. Now I'm going to pass you over to Mache, who's going to talk you through Core in a little bit more detail. Hello, this is Maciej Bai, product owner of LISCore. The previous month for us was focusing mainly on fixing the remaining issues after the big milestone we release, after 1.0 release, and also on preparing the ground for the new upcoming minor releases. We released 1.0.2. With the help of community member, we were able to swiftly identify and fix a bug related to new characters in the newly introduced data field feature. Then the following patch release, 1.0.3, was handling a bug caused by invalid multi-signature transactions not being removed from the transaction pool. 1.1 introduces many following code refactors and performance improvements like using big number cons consistency across the code base and consolidating database queries while processing the vote type transactions. I'm mentioning those two features because both of those turned out to introduce some further code regressions. Therefore, the 1.1 release had to be delayed because of the further quality assurance of the upcoming release. Shortly after 1.1 release, we are planning to introduce 1.2 and 1.3 release. From the world of mentioning is the Neuralink optional instrumentation that you can use to have a deep insight of what's going on uh, within your API and database layer of queries. Uh, together with the science team, the developers of LISCore are working very closely to provide the highest industry standards of the new upcoming milestones. Hello everyone, uh, I'm going to give the brief update of LISC Elements. In LISC Elements, we're cur currently in progress of release of 1.1. In 1.1, we are introducing the monorepo style of project management. After 1.1, developers will be able to install only packages they need. LISC Elements will contain a lot of libraries in the future. That's why we're introducing LISC Client Package, which only contains the libraries for client development. In Elements 2.0, we're introducing TypeScript. It will decrease the bugs and it will help developers understand how to use the library. For LISC Commander, we're in progress of version 2 release. And in version 2, we have changed the framework of the Commander to Oclef. Command will look a lot different, but it will be more cleaner and extendable for future. Also in 2.0, we added features and bug fixes like creating signature objects and creating multiple accounts in one command. Please give us feedback through LixChat, Gitters, or GitHub. Hi everyone! Let's have a look at what we did with LiskHub in September. Firstly, we released version 1.2 with some big changes. We added a logout button, which required a major update and simplification of account management. We enhanced dashboard section with a new feed module, which at the moment contains LISC HQ Twitter and more channels will be added to it in future releases. We also made the dashboard available without login so that you can access it more easily. The logout dashboard also shows more tips about using LISC, which link LISC Hub to LISC Academy. We also released version 1.3 with some improvements for smaller screens, other small tweaks of dashboard and settings and multiple bug fixes. The upcoming release 1.4 is already heavily in progress, so to get the latest updates, follow us on GitHub or any other social media LISC channel. Hi everyone, I'm happy to say that uh, we introduced LISC Mobile in the last LISC Meetup. For those of you who are interested to use it, now LISC Mobile is available on App Store and Google Play. After all the effort that we put on delivering a feature-rich product as LISC Hub, now this is an important uh, milestone for us to deliver a mobile wallet for you. Now that the first version is released, the team is already working on cool features such as logging in with fingerprint and face ID, notifications and much more. 
If you like to give it a try, download it, use it, and give us your feedback. Thank you for watching. Next month's vlog is going to be focused on the business developments here at LISC. As always, you can keep up to date with the latest development news with our fortnightly development update vlog. The next edition is coming out next Thursday the 18th and check out any developments on our GitHub repo. Thanks and see you next time.